What is up everybody, it's your boy Reddix Black and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a month, I haven't made a video in a, in, in a, in a minute right now because I've been in school and um, it's been busy. But a lot of stuff has happened within this month and it's crazy, within the last two months actually. But uh, an interesting conversation I've seen happening and taking place right now is unvaccinated versus vaccinated and should unvaccinated people be denied health care and vaccinated people should be prioritized now when i heard this i first heard it i started hearing rumbles of this like months ago but uh, it's starting to become more of an actual mainstream discussion at this point and i actually heard a uh an anchor i think his name is john king on uh cnn i heard him ask dr fauci this question he said should we prioritize vaccinated people over unvaccinated people now this conversation and that question is kind of um it almost is bred out of frustration and also a feeling of uh superiority because there are a lot of people who are unvaccinated and i, I mean i'm vaccinated and i do see that some people who are unvaccinated um some of them are unvaccinated for very strange reasons in my opinion um, and I can see that some of them are just afraid and they are um, they don't trust the vaccine. They don't trust the government. They don't trust these companies that, you know, it's a lot of distrust that goes into this. But to say that they shouldn't be given health care <laughs> because they made that choice not to be vaccinated is um, is, is quite, you know, it, it just doesn't that comes off very bad. Like that does not come off right, um, because even if they are taking a lot of unvaccinated people get sick and are filling up the ICU beds. You still got to take care of them. It's not like they lost their citizenship because they didn't get vaccinated. And for some people um, I see on Twitter, some people who I would who would consider themselves uh, believers in human rights and that, uh, you know, we should love all people and all this other sort of stuff. When it comes to this, they don't they're saying that we should deny them health care. And if you're a person that believes in universal health care, that's health care for everyone, no matter what. And your vaccination status should not matter. Um, you should receive health care. That's what I believe. Your vaccination status should not should not matter. Um, now, a lot of vaccinated people probably wouldn't be in the hospital in the first place if they did get the virus. Unless they were very, very like, they had a very weakened immune system or they were very old. But um, most vaccinated people are not going to end up in the hospital at all. Um, and Jimmy Kimmel just last night, he not last night, but probably two nights ago, he made a joke about, um, he said, if you have a heart attack and you're vaccinated, come right in and we'll treat you. But if, you, uh, if you're unvaccinated, uh, you go ahead and die. It was pretty much that. It was, I can't, that's not the exact joke that he made, but it was uh, something similar to that. And... That came off very, very distasteful to me because this is turning, it's making this whole culture war um, and discourse, the discourse between people, political, different political sides, very, it's making it worse because a lot of people who already feel uh, singled out and afraid right now, you saying that, hey, maybe we should deny these people entry into a hospital if they get sick because their vaccination status that doesn't help that makes it way way worse that makes them feel like they are just isolated at this point now i understand the frustration with some of them i understand but this is not the way to go this is not going to help the case it's going to make it worse they're going to you're just feeding into what they already believe a lot of them do believe that hey these people hate us they don't care about us and when you're saying you can't come to, we shouldn't let you in the hospital because you didn't get vaccinated, that doesn't help. That makes it just completely and utterly just a mess because that's what's going on now. It's the discourse is getting worse and worse and worse between political sides, vaccinated versus unvaccinated. All these different topics is getting worse. And the politicians aren't really helping the case at all. They're feeding into it. They feed into their sides. It's all about... Um, it's all about your trench, all about your um, your team, and that is horrible. That's absolutely horrible. That's where we've come down to. It's just complete and utter tribalism. 
and I don't and we're in the middle of a pandemic that we need to get out of but people are so focused on tribalism and feed instead of trying to get to the bottom and get to the root and trying to build trust with the people who don't trust vaccines and so just tell them just trust us hey no explain to me why I should trust you not just because you have a PhD or you've been working for there for 25 years or whatever why should I really trust you can you please explain to me how these vaccines um work like uh they're experimental i've heard they're experimental i've heard that this i've heard that that explain to them why that's not the case explain to them why they're safe explain that to them rather than just saying hey trust it and i have seen people try to explain and stuff like that but i've seen a lot more people just saying why don't you trust the science why don't you this why don't you that so in my opinion this this conversation should not even be taking place right now um the vaccinated versus unvaccinated um being allowed to go to the hospital and get care based off the vaccination status that should not even be this the discussion right now this is america okay now i know that's kind of a cringy line to say but yes if we truly believe in that type of freedom um and truly believe and truly care about every citizen which you know <laughs> it's debatable <laughs> but um th- this conversation just, just should not be happening it shouldn't be happening in any country to be honest like even in the worst case scenario, that still shouldn't be happening. Everybody deserves health care, in my opinion. But, um, but yeah. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, what do, you, do you think people should be denied health care? Do you think they shouldn't? Let me know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like. Whenever you do it, however you do it, just do it. It's your boy Red X Black, and I'm out. Peace.